Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at TikToks that will give you secondhand embarrassment. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened? I can't believe I'm posting this on TikTok, but I'm going to because it's every teenager's nightmare. Okay, so whenever they start a TikTok off like that, like this is every teen's nightmare, you know it's going to be bad. My mother asked me if I wanted to go to the grocery store with her and I said, okay, yeah, because there was this really cute stock boy that was there and I wanted to go buy him and see him and so I got all dressed up. I feel like everyone's low-key done that in any type of situation. I remember one time whenever I was younger, it's the airport and I seen like this really cute guy who was like oh my god he's so hot and I like tried to look cool by walking past him he didn't batter an eyelid at me there was also a guy seen in the boat and it was really weird because like I would go for a walk around the boat it was like a big big one like that takes you like across the water I was going to England from Northern Ireland basically I was walking around the boat and I noticed that like every single place I turn up he'd turn up so I was like oh my god he definitely fancies me he didn't really in the end and I found that out in the hard way but basically I remember he went outside and I sort of like stalked him from a window I know it sounds bad but like I peered at him he turned around and we made eye contact. I mean, I tell you the look in his face, like he looked like he just seen a ghost. So I am walking around and I go down the aisle and the aisle that I'm going down had the cute stock boy in it that I was like, oh my gosh, like there he is. So I go and walk down and I bend over and I get the item. And as I bend over, I let out a big one. Oh yeah, that is probably the worst thing you could ever do. You farted in front of him, you farted. I don't know why, but seeing another human fart makes me feel so weird. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like you don't expect it, but like you know what happened. It's kind of like whenever an animal farts, like one time my dog let out a big ripper. I'm not joking. I nearly ran out of the house. It stung. I let out a toot. I let out the almighty. He turned and looked at me and then looked down at what I was holding and it was literally a can of baked beans. I had baked beans in my hand and I farted. Oh my god. Yeah, that's like even worse. Like he's probably looking at you thinking why did this little girl literally just fart in front of me? Why am I getting texted by people? Like I'm trying to film the video. Why is life? Life's amazing. But the one thing you probably don't want to hold is a kind of baked thing. I've called you overnight and I'm not joking. That thing messed with my inside. I was like, I was farting all night. Ooh, baby. So when I was a stripper, I was doing a private event in downtown Honolulu. And before I went to the event, my husband and I did the deed. So I put a tampon in to absorb everything. And when I got there, I forgot to take it out. Oh my God. So she's going to be dancing around for legs open. There's literally going to be like a little string. It's literally going to be like a Christmas cracker. You know how you like pull them wee things at Christmas and they like explode. Someone in the club's going to try and pull it out of her. So I was doing my first private dance of the night and I'm all in this dude's face. He's paying a lot of money and you know, I'm grinding. I'm doing my stripper thing. When I get up, I go to the bathroom to pee and I realize my string is just hanging out of the underwear. It's completely out and I was I was over this dude's face and his head and it turns out this tampon string was like dangling in his mouth and it's like like hitting him in the face oh my god he didn't even say anything maybe he enjoyed it maybe he loved that that is so embarrassing like I can't believe that do you reckon that man also has a wife like apparently a lot of married men go to strip clubs cheating their wives and that right there is why I'm never gonna get married in that moment like on the toilet when I realized that it was hanging out I was petrified frozen with embarrassment I was hoping he wasn't gonna tell anybody and he didn't but to this day it's the most more mortifying thing because I couldn't look him in the eyes ever again. And the thing is he's gonna remember that. So like whenever he thinks he's gonna think oh yeah she had a tampon stuck up her. Honestly we need to give more credit to women because they have to get through a lot. Imagine literally bleeding from inside your private. If I see blood I faint because I think I'm gonna die and they literally have it every month in their panties. I can't believe I'm gonna share this but oh my god like 15 years ago I got arrested for prostitution. This particular night I'm working really late my boss decides that he's gonna walk me out to my car because it's like 11 30 at night. When we get down the stairs there's a cop car parked behind my car on the street he says to me are you so and so i say yes i am he's like is this your car yes it is great fantastic we have a warrant for your arrest imagine they literally arrest her and then the sergeant out there like the client i don't know how to feel about prostitution i feel really bad for women they are like put in the position where for money they have to sell their body i think it's so sad isn't it i don't know why but a lot of feminists try to say prostitution is like feminism it's not trust me it's like the opposite of that he turns to me and he says yes we have a warrant for your arrest from 1976 for street walking i've argued with him for five minutes i'm like my god i'd be Holding my mother's hand. I was three years old at the time. There's no way that that is my warrant. My boss leans over to me and says, Beth, he's saying street walking, not jaywalking. I'm like, what the fuck's the difference? He comes along and says prostitution is the difference. I'm like, oh, sh I don't understand what they just said, but was she doing it whenever she was four years old? Oh my god, she got into the business pretty young, didn't she? So I get in the cop car, I get my fingerprints done, I get put in a cell, I'm in there for like an hour before the chief shows up. Chief looks at me, chief looks at the cop, looks at him, says, you're dumbass lets me go imagine the humiliation having to go to work the next day after your boss watched you get arrested for 
prostitution. Wait, so was she actually one? I'm assuming that she wasn't. Or maybe they thought she was one. And it happened in front of her boss as well. Oh my god, I was thinking she was like part of an agency. I got a question for she got a mugshot. Like I know an American mugshots are like a big thing. If you ever get arrested, can you like download your mugshot? I mean, I took a passport photo and look like a mugshot. So that's the closest thing I'll hopefully ever get to a mugshot because I would not survive in jail. Um, I could write a book on most embarrassing things that's happened to me. Ten years ago, I worked at this company and this really sweet Korean family worked as the janitors there. And I'm Korean. I don't speak it well, and you're about to find out. Oh god, that they try to speak to her in Korean and she didn't understand it. Honestly, cleaners are so cute. Like, I feel like a lot of people disrespect them. Back in my old school, like, a lot of people were kind of mean to the cleaners. I don't know why. Like, at the end of the day, they're normal people. I bumped into them in the hallway on the way to the restroom, and the husband and wife, they wanted to introduce me to their daughter, who had just started working with them. And I should have said, Panga Woyo. Oh, right, so she's probably said something completely wrong, or it's like really bad. I was watching a TikTok recently and I think it was a woman telling us about Chinese but the way we say stuff in English in Chinese is slightly different. I can't remember what the TikTok was but it had to do with like deaf or something like that. Which means nice to meet you. And instead I said Pangu Wayo which means the fart is coming. Oh my god it's quite crazy to think that like it wasn't even that big of a difference but like the difference in their language is pretty big. To be fair I only ever wanted to learn languages so it means I could swear and then that's the real real reason why. But I mean now we know how to say the fart will be with you in Korean. What is the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I'll go first. I was a brand new bank teller and I'm nervous as all hell. They kept telling us, use your customer's name three times in every transaction. My second or third customer walks in and I'm like, okay, use the customer's name three times. Use the customer's name three times. And I open up the profile and it says the Han. The Han? Okay. Just go with it. I'm like, hi, the Han. How can I help you today? I've got a feeling that's not going to be their name. And whenever they say use the customer's name three times, what does that mean? Is it like whenever you're like writing stuff up? I mean, I have to go to a bank tomorrow. He looks at me strangely and he's like, um, okay, can I make a deposit? So I'm like, sure, the Han. Anything else for today, the Han? Why do you keep calling me that? And I'm like, the Han, that's your name. My name's Steve. Exactly. Like, who is the Han? Apparently, the Han is not the Han because that's Steve. Yet again, I'm telling you it's miscommunication. So I turn over the profile i'm like look it says the han and he's like the honorable i'm a judge at this point i'm so embarrassed i start calling him your honor oh my god wait so he's a judge the han oh god yeah that ain't good imagine you say that to judge judy she would literally slap you and he's like that's not necessary and i'm like no no you studied a lot you deserve it per guy and per her as well like that's actually the person above her's fault they should have taught her correctly use their name three times what are they all about it's been a while since I've told this story, so I'm gonna try to make it fit in one minute. Let me set the scene. Sister-in-law was getting married. I was in the wedding. I was lily white and wanted a tan. So I go to get a spray tan from a girl that I haven't met before. Oh my god, right, so I'm assuming the spray tan does not look good. I used to fake tan, I don't know why, like I get that fake tan to rub it all over my body. At the time I thought it looked really good and it like I looked tan. Now that I look back at clues of me whenever I was 16, 17 tan and I genuinely look orange, like I looked horrific. Right before this, my husband calls me crying, not crying, but basically for me to come get him because he's at work and he's throwing up well i sent his brother to go get him because i'm getting a spray tan exactly put your spray tan first who cares about your husband you need to get that spray tan honey he told me that he had eaten three day old mexican food that he had left out i was like well that figures then so i'm getting the spray tan with absolutely zero clothes on uh making fun of my husband who was eating three day old mexican food and thought that that was a good idea i was like <laughs> how dumb do you have to be serves him right now he's sick <laughs> and as i'm chuckling the girl says are you okay no was the short answer and i ran butt naked through her house finding the bathroom oh my god wait so her husband literally got like food poison from like mexican food and now she's got it oh my god honestly having diarrhea is the worst thing ever one time i had diabetic sweets worst thing i ever done basically diabetic sweets have a special like ingredient in them and if you're not diabetic it makes you poo well anyways guys that's where i'm gonna leave that video that is some tiktoks that genuinely were embarrassed i feel bad for all these people because they proper embarrass themselves i hope you all enjoyed this video if you're a subscribe button and just i'll see you all in my next video